a very good morning to all of you. The topic that we are going to do today is ionic radius. Now, before I move to an ionic radius, we need to know what are ions. Now, for that ions information, you need to know what is an atom. An atom has got subatomic particles, three of them. Protons, positively charged, electrons, negatively charged, and neutrons are neutral. In an atom, inside the nucleus, you have got protons plus neutrons, while around the nucleus, you have got electrons moving. As long as the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons, we say the atom is neutral. Hence, a neutral atom, therefore, would have protons equal to electrons. For the formation of ions, ions, for one thing, are charged. And they can be positive in charge as well as negative in charge. For positively charged ions, we need the positive charged species to be more than the negatively charged species. While for the negatively charged ion, we require the negatively charged species more than the positively charged species. Ion formation can only happen by using electrons. In an atom, when we talk about ion to be formed, it can either lose an electron or it can gain an electron. Protons are neither lost nor gained in a chemical reaction as they are deep seated inside the atom and chemical reactions do not involve protons. We are talking about chemical reactions and in them you can either have electrons lost or you can have electrons gained. So if I have gain of electron, in that case the number of electrons is going to be more than the number of protons. In this case the negatively charged ions are more than the positively charged ion, hence I end up in a negatively charged ion called as an ion. I have deliberately written like this where a negative ion is an ion. If we talk about the other way of formation of ions, I am talking about loss of an electron. On losing an electron, Protons now would be more than the electrons. The loss or the gain of electron can be more than one. But we are presently talking about a single electron loss or a single electron gain. Protons now being more than electrons, it is understandable that the total positive charges are more than the total negative charges. Hence, we end up in a positively charged ion called as cation. The easy way to remember is cats have powers. So cations are positively charged. Now talking about the radius part. When we have a neutral atom, protons are equal to electrons. The electrons are attracted by the protons. In case of an anion, since electrons are more than the protons, the same number of protons is now attracting more number of electrons. Hence, the charge felt by the electrons will be less as compared to a neutral atom because the same number of electrons are now pulling more number of, sorry, the same number of protons are now pulling more number of electrons towards it. The proton's force will now felt per electron is going to be less so the size will slightly increase. Hence, these are larger in size. If I talk about electrons loss, now the same number of protons are attracting less number of electrons. So, the nuclear charge or the charge of the protons felt on each of the electron is slightly more than that in a neutral atom because the same number of protons are now attracting one less electron. So the attractive pull felt by these electrons is going to be more. If the attractive pull is going to be more, then in that case the electrons will move closer to the nucleus. Hence, the size is going to be smaller. 
concluding it if i have a neutral atom represented as x and an ion represented as x minus and a cation represented as x plus then the order in which you can arrange this radius of a neutral atom in comparison to an ion and a cation would be an ion could be the largest cation could be the smallest thank you